Hello, my name is Joel Cohen, and I'm one of the writers of uh, Skylanders and Skylanders Giants. And we're here at Remote Studios to talk about Skylanders Giants. How did you find, uh, what did you find interesting about building the Skylanders story? Well, it, it, as opposed to like writing a screenplay where you, you kind of make all the choices for the screenplay and the storytelling, in this case, you sort of uh, give options, and, and it's really the gamer's uh, choice. We were talking the other day about Freaky Friday and how um, Jamie Lee Curtis plays Lindsay Lohan's mother, and her advice to her when she's getting out of the car to go to uh, high school in the morning is make good choices. And that's kind of what we have to say to all the kids out there playing Skylanders and Skylanders Giants. Make good choices. Um, how did Skylanders, which have, has a lot of toys involved, compare to the work you've done writing Toy Story? Well, when we first started working on Toy Story, nobody quite knew what it was. And then it became Toy Story, which was a magnificent thing. Um, I, I guess the thing I would say is when we were working on Skylanders, we sort of felt like it was a similar situation to what we had experienced way back in 1992, 94, 95, working on Toy Story, um, in that we felt like we had really touched a nerve with it and that kids would respond to it, and happily they did. And what do you think, uh, why do you think we're seeing a lot of Hollywood talent like yourself exploring video games? Well, it, it, you know, for us, uh, having worked in the system for as long as we have, it's always fun to go off campus. And I must say, Activision was willing to take the time and spend the money to get the storytelling right, which is how we approach everything. And uh, uh, they were like a pleasure to work for. It was, really, uh, it was really fun and it was exciting to see what the rollout was and how the game was uh, accepted by the audience. And what are your thoughts on how Skylanders has evolved with this new Giants game? Well, we like it. I mean, it seems like a real big new idea that uh, is dropped into uh, what seemed like a really big idea at, at the time. But we, we think it's, uh, it's going in the right direction and it's part of the fun of the game. And, and uh, uh, I'm sure the kids are going to love them. They're great characters and it's really uh, uh, a good thing. And what do you like about building new worlds for exploration? Well, that's always fun. That's always, that's, you know, uh, we have spent so much time working in animation uh, after Toy Story. And uh, animation is always about finding a new world and dropping characters into it and sort of exploring it. So for us, that was something that we had done before. And we found Skylanders and the realm of Skylanders uh, you know, which is something that Toys for Bob created and, and Paul Reich and those folks up there. But uh, we found it to be like really a, a, a exciting and interesting and everything we'd want it to be. And how much have you played with the original Skylanders? Well, I have, uh, I have a daughter who's 15. I have a niece who's a little bit older. And I have a friend who has an eight-year-old son. And uh, his name is Matthew Holtz. And he is Mr. Skylanders, you know, he has, he has sent me in the mail different characters that he's created, that he very smartly kind of uh, understood what the requirements were. And he plays it a lot and he's come over to my house and we've played together. And uh, uh, so I've gotten a look at it both from my point of view, but also I've seen it through the eyes of an eight year old, which is really fun. And what games did you play growing up? You know, I played Pac-Man which I uh, remember fondly, um, but it just seems like a completely new world to me that, uh, uh, I mean, Skylanders is in its own category as far as I'm concerned as a game and as a realm and as uh, how you play it and what your options are as a player. It's, it's just so sophisticated and plays across all those platforms and that's one of the great technological advances and uh, it's a lot different than Pac-Man where, you know, you just eat other characters if you can. Mm -hmm.